God, man, today was a long fucking day. I still got two more to go before I get a day off. I wonder if the linking will work now. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, I don't fucking know. I really don't. And I don't honestly care anymore. I don't care anymore. I wanna I wanna play this game. I wanna relax. So I can rich repeat, do it all again tomorrow. This is the same way this is ever doing link. <laughs> For some reason my girl's voice went all male, I don't know why. I'm really, like, I have a theory. I think that, uh... Sabrona, um, from the Three Broomsticks is transgender. Yeah, it's not working. I, I don't care anymore. This is not meant to be. I went through all that trouble making the account and shit like that just to have it not worked. So what's the point? That loaded quick. Alright. We last left off, we finished the beast class. Deej was getting ready to show us how to use his magical badge to uh, collect beasts. Let's do it. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. <coughs> My apologies for the throat clearing. I just had a long day and I don't feel like muting my mic every five seconds. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Well, Pustin. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Cool. Knapsack, okay. Oh, oh shit, whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yay! I'll look after you. Come in here, my little buddy. Cool. 
Come here, little pumpkin buddy. I love this. Is there a buskeen? Where are you at? I know there's another one hopping around out here somewhere. Hello? Is this your buskeen? Get that up. You know those ash wider eggs, they sound like uh, oh there it is. Come here. Everything's alright now. I managed to rescue a puff skein. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skeins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet okay. you there whenever you're ready. All right, let's do it. Damn, it's far away. All right, uh... Oh, so, so when you see those little footprints, you can actually collect animals there. That's good to know. Away I go. Whee. So when I see the paw prints, that means that there's animals I can collect. I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? It must be nice to be able to operate right without you one, Deke. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. I, uh... What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Okay. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful you. to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Okay, so get your, um... Uh, let me know, so... Here. That's a job and all. Rebellion. Fall off that cliff. <laughs> All right. So you have to hit it twice before you collect. <laughs> This is interesting. I would never believe this. 
I, I feel like I feel like a uh, new commander. Rescue beasts. This is fun. I imagine collecting the bigger ones would probably pay in the ass, but. Oh, look at all of them are collected! They're so adorable! They're all male pupsteens, though. And only one female jab and all. No room requirement. Rescue 10 beasts, rescue 20 beasts. Belly white hive. So I should be able to buy beast things now for them. At the um pod speed. Eek, I collected the Jabinoles. I rescued a Jabinole. Deke hopes your Jabinole finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees on this footpath. Deke will see you okay. there. Okay, don't eat. Bye. There's a lot of javernals. She's been really way up there, dude. Damn. You fucking tell me to be that fucking far up there? I love this uh, the new Xbox when you just press a button on a controller, it automatically takes a screenshot. It's beautiful. Go on, my dude. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. <laughs> Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. So we just wait for night time. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. I like the fact he's wearing our uh, reading glasses. That's adorable. Alright. So, moon calves. Everything's alright now. Oh, they're adorable! Look how fucking adorable they are. The big old eyes. I love beasts in this game. They're so fucking adorable. But they care magical creatures is gonna be one of my favorite classes too. Need to got a couple. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Return to the room requirements. All right. I could fly all the way there, but I'm not gonna. 
Easier just to teleport. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Oh, that's so cool. So it's like a magical realm where the beasts would go. Oh, that's so awesome. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Alright, can I release more? I better do that. That's adorable.
settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Rush, 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 little puff puff. Ah, look at him. It's adorable. Enjoy every second of it. Yeah, about you, little buddy. <laughs> I love this. I love everything about this. Where is the javanols? There's a jab and all. Come here, buddy. I need you. You like that, huh? I love everything about this. I love everything about this. Like, I'm, my heart is so full of love right now. I think they're all cared for. Oh, no, they're not. Um, he's over here, okay. This guy has been. I'm sorry, I forgot about you, little buddy. Come over here. Brush that little puff of yours. God, they're so cute. I love them. And the moon calves. Oh, there's one. Oh, look at them. Oh, I love it. My heart is so full right now. It's so full, I feel like it can burst. Brush. The moon cap is a small cap like beast with enormous eyes and shy personality. Did you be observed dancing in the light of the full moon hits around? <sighs> so cute. I'm gonna throw him a buddy too. Just so he's not alone. Ah! He closed his eyes! Ah, look at him! My heart! My heart can't handle it! I hope I'm still talking. I am, okay, good. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Alright. Yeah, I get out of here now. I will be here forever. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. 
First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. All right. Yeah, I'll be back a little bit later, buddies. Enjoy your new home. If I don't leave now, I'm gonna be in this room forever. This is this this game is so fucking cool. Yeah, hold on one second, Deke. I'm gonna collect these uh, leaves real quick and the uh, other shit that I have growing down here. Not grass. You probably get the loom. Put you. I better rotate you. Wait, magical materials for use for bloom to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply trace to your gear. I might have a clip right now. Oh, so added offense, but okay. I see. So. No upgrades applied. So I added offense to my um, stuff here. Hmm. So geometric house cloak. So we got the loom unlocked. Trace damage from the Sendio. Upgraded gear five times. I can do that. Upgrade my gear that I have right now.
What else am I wearing, though? Offense plus six. Offense plus six. Defense plus six. Okay, so I did. I did add uh, some stuff to them. trades all right there's that you could probably put a trait in that Everything's got something but my Celtic attire. Need diesel perk for that. So everything's got a trait in them now. Alright. <sighs> Challenges. Oh, four out of five times. Do, do I have enough to upgrade one more item? Get that challenge done. Yes. Got it. Upgrade my gear. Oh, nice. I don't know what the hell the ancient magic thing did, but it did something. Increased damage from ancient magic. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Hold on. Hold on. I need to add some of that to my equipment. I want increased damage from... Agent magic. I want to increase the damage from uh, agent magic. Enchanted Loom Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Uh, 
Got some updated fences. No unidentified gear. Okay. I gotta pee real quick, real bad.
Oh, okay, okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Cleaning out my CPAP machine stuff. <sighs> Once a month, I'm supposed to clean out the tube and the, the mast apparatus with soap and water. <clears throat> and yes, I have a CPAP machine because I stopped breathing while I'm sleeping, so I needed to keep me breathing. Green ball. Apparently, I have more shit that I was unaware of. A bench. Nice. Challenges. Complete eight main story quests. Stone necklace. That's interesting. All right. Getting a lot of collections. Alright, uh, quests. In the shadow of the estate. Yeah, I was supposed to go with him. Uh, cast Repulso. Professor Jarl's assignment. Let's get, um, let's go to, um, do you think the greenhouses would have Mandrake in it? Maybe. I know they definitely have better than Statula, I could always use more of that. But I had to use the Mandrake root, Venom of Statula, and um, the, the chopping cabbages, all simultaneously. Revenia. I saw this meme on Facebook, on, on the Hogwarts uh, Legacy page. And they said, uh, like, cast Rebellion and have this lady yelling into a megaphone. And it's like, every, every five seconds, casting uh, Rebellion. And then someone had a picture of John Travolta from, uh, Pulp Pitchin looking around. And said, yeah, and then me looking for the Dane, where the Dane came from. I thought that was funny. Rebellion. Oops. Wait, is that a level one or a level two? I'm sorry. Hello, level one, hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's get the shell mod. Wow, we already got 30 out of 50 of those uh, files. So 20 more and we'll have, uh, we'll have that, that challenge done. So I'm gonna go back to the greenhouses to see if there's any, uh, Venomous Tentacula or something I could grab. Usually there is some meandering around somewhere. Why do you have a rain cloud What's over you? Wouldn't you like to know? See, I don't even use the pot here anymore because I'm growing so many plants in the uh, the room of requirements that I don't I don't need to use the one here at the uh, herbology place. With the greenhouses, I don't need to use them anymore. You know, you think they would have some mandrakes here, you know? I mean, I'd rather not have to go buy one. Why do you got a rain cloud over you, dude? It's so weird. Rebellion. Mm. Oh, there we go. There is a venomous spectacular. I don't think they have mandrake root in here. 
Yeah, I may have to go buy it in Hogsmeade. Alright. <clears throat> to Hogsmeade we go then, I guess. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, excuse me. We're looking for um, not Jay Pippin, but home dude that sells the, uh, the plant supplies. Why is that old like Bobby up there? I sold that last Clement. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise! Oh, you don't have any magic root, what the hell? There's no point in me holding on to this shit, so I might as well sell it. I'll grab the Now, you page. let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Okay. I don't really care for that. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Yes, but you don't have mandrake root, though. Where would I find Mandrake Rue? <sighs> Let's pop by here real quick. I haven't talked to you in a minute. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Beast feeder spellcraft. Oh, okay, cool. I did do that. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Lots of ability counter beast toy bots. Use it to pick out your beast toy baby toys to play with. The counter chopping is the station periodically produces a plant byproduct. Dunk composer. Yes, that's useful. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Oh, so this this produces moonstone. Oh, I did. Okay, I did divert material to moonstone. It's all paid expensive, isn't it? Huh. Eh, I think that's good enough. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Alright, sir. All right, plus cast the pulso. See, I don't know the pulso. Wait, do I know the pulso? I think I do know the pulso. Dunk composer. The dunk composure is gonna be pretty useful. I should probably get the uh, get that back at the uh, room of requirements before I do anything else. Don't I have to pulse though? I do have to pulse though. So I gotta levitate an enemy and then use to pulse on him. I think, right? Is that right? Is that right? Gleaned from that quest. 
You cast Paul so I want to levitate the enemy. Okay. So levitate them to both of them. How'd you do that? So back to room requirements. Am I still talking? I have no idea. I am indeed. Alright. Okay, so we have... No, not scientific. I don't want a scientific one. Don't compose her. I will put you there. How much fertilizer is that yields? I might make two. There we go. Two should be done enough. Stone composer. This little loom. Sanical pine. Small pine. Oh, there's a beast speeding thing too, wasn't there? Did I not get a beast speeding thing? I could have sworn I did. Plus it's in here automatically. Oh, here we go. Beast items. Beast meter. Perfect. So this auto feeds them, that's good to know. God, these guys are so adorable. So this auto feeds, so I don't have to worry about them eating anymore. Okay, so we're back in here. Deke this bus consistently. Many plants here before. Yeah, I know. I like to. Uh, I like to keep uh, plants growing. You never have too many potion ingredients, dude. Okay. Well, that's all done. We just save again real quick. We got our auto feeder for the beasts. Uh, we gotta keep our eyes out for more beasts, too. I'm gonna take a picture of them.
I'm in love. Deke hasn't seen this many plants here before. Oh, so it will just keep making fertilizer, okay. Alright. Okay, so... You do it to Paul, so... So levitate into Paul, so we can do that. Um, <clears throat> we find an enemy. Damn, he's really far away. All right. Well, maybe we'll find some enemies over here to do the levitate into Paul, so real quick to get that done. He has the auto beast speeder going, so Sorry, my uh. It's unsettling. What to do? What's mysterious and unsettling? That Marlow child over there. I know it's pretty mysterious, but I'm not sure if it's really a desert of settling. You only have Ranrock to blame. Okay, so we got that done. <clears throat> well, I might as well get these balloons while I'm here. There's a beast thing over here. Oh, I caught a hippogriff. Nice. I got my first hippogriff. Get rid of that, then I'm gonna keep hearing whispering in my ear. That was really hard to do. You had to literally, like, do it, like, hit that edge, like, four, like five times. There's a thing down here. 
Revelio. Practice dummies. The residents of Feldcroft sometimes use these to practice the spell cast, especially light recent goblin attacks. So I caught my first hippogriff. I proud of myself. Alright, so we gotta go meet Sebastian real quick. Hold on, let me see this murder real quick. Maybe maybe they it's have like some a place on the storybook. <laughs> nice to see you again. Nice to see you as well. How can I help you? I totally forgot about your mustache, my dude. What brought you to own a shop in Feldcroft? Beautiful place, isn't it? Although I admit I didn't choose it, it chose me. I was raised here. It's always been my home. As for the shop, I suppose my line of work chose me as well. I've always loved working with beasts, and my twin girls adore them. Wouldn't be surprised if they took over from me one day. I hope so. I'm curious to know what's happening in Feldcroft. Might you have any insight? An incredibly unpleasant goblin called Belgroft the Bludgeoner has been tormenting everyone he encounters. Feldcroft borders goblin country, but we've always lived in peace with their kind. Until recently, that is. Some claim that Belgroth and his associates are in league with Ranrock. I don't know if there's truth to it. Whatever the case, their constant meddling is devastating business. Everyone feels unsafe. It's quite serious. Hmm. What like do you it. have for sale? What are we in the market for today? A pleasure doing business with you. There's no point in me um in grabbing these because because literally I'm dead out. Um, you're uh, welcome to stop by any time. I appreciate okay. that. But anyway, um Uh, level two uh, demi guys. Yeah, it's a demi guys. We can't access. We don't level two um, El Hamora. Anyway, we already have enough materials we get from our beast as it is. We don't need to buy any more. Goblin Sebastian, where you at? Well, you're not even up here yet. You made What's it, up, dude. Yes, I did. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Okay. Alright, I'm following. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Alright. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. 
but we haven't what tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee. What a fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry oh, you have to geez. see that. Where the fuck the challenges are there? Yeah, um, so Sebastian's uncle's an asshole. He'd rather just see his niece suffer than to try to help her. The heavy rib is a majestic beast. The front half an eagle. Heavy uh, can soar. Great justice and commands and respect for anyone who dares to approach it. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. 
The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cozy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an exora, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. No, I Sebastian's wish you trying to help you. He's trying to help you, and your uncle's an asshole. Sebastian, this is my post tent. Now yours. Leave my things be. And. Rebellion. There's a big old chest over there. Dear Anne, Hogwarts is the same without you. Well, Sharp is still spell, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better, Sebastian. Thank you for the apple. Sebastian, I'll be with you in one moment, my dude. I need to see you to check something. Thank you. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, Hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how yeah, Sebastian's faring. God, he's an asshole. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'll admit I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. 
It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Okay. All the debris you'll see is from for whatever's it. going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. I like how that one goblin came out, like, like, you know, with his big ass balls, like, threatening me, and I just killed him, and like, one side hit him inside. What was that? Those loyalists deserve That's what up. they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, 
but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? Absolutely. They seem to have set up Rebellion. camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Mm. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Revelia. Yeah, that is, that is a pretty interesting <laughs> fact that they're not doing anything. <laughs> Stepping over this way. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Okay. Let's take a look at the house then, I guess. Whatever's left of it. Over here, do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be, but it looks to me as though this was intentional. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. The blacked out spots. Rebellion. This well looks familiar. I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Yeah, I'm honestly confused myself. I totally forgot about all that. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor. Hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganog. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I'd think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. 
Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Here! Huh, a stairwell. Yes, indeed. Oh. Oh, no, this stairwell's right here. God, I'm stupid. Alright. Lumos. Venomous Spectacular. No, not Venomous Spectacular, Devil's Snare. Worth a closer look. They've God, left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Yeah, no shit. This door journal entry, two of seven. This is my second week in camp, oh, excuse me, in the camp. More arrive each day, the muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing what they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who have survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass, the skin may mend the star, but the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. Journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. It sounds like she's murdering people because she's trying to find an excuse to rid them of their pain, quote unquote. But maybe she just wants to kill them. I traveled here to learn, but I longed to help. My eternal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, I am the one preparing for doing so. Should I lose hope while I ever... Am I still talking now? My, my mic's crackling like crazy. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I did not look into their eyes knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leave me camp today. The one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I should figure my research course, or excuse me, further my research. But that would be a fortuitous consequence of doing something good with disability. It seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Rebellion. <laughs> Lumos. Alright, well apparently I had to explore a little further than I thought. Oh, Lumos. I see. Alright, I had to go further around. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Oh, well, it's more than a daydream, my dude. I'm literally seeing the undercroft. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But. You said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then. Invisible secret ancient magic passageway. Here we come. Hell I'm yeah. tempted to hold my breath. I think you just walk through it. I don't think it's anything like walking through water. Yo, Redina. No. No, you're making my mic crackle, Jesse. No. I love you. I miss you. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, yeah. Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Redina. I love you, my little fur baby. Yes, I does. All right. Anything helpful in the note? 
Yeah, not really. It just looks like a bunch of gibberish. A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold.